Hi guys, my name is Becca Moore. I'm a grad student out at the Carrington Research Extension Center. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about my project, which is using soybean holes as a partial forage replacement in beef cow-calf rations. So one of the byproducts to soybean processing are soybean holes. Soybean holes may be more beneficial than grain in high roughage diets, as their fiber content allows for better digestibility. In 2019, the state of North Dakota planted 5.6 million soybean acres. My project is evaluating soybean holes as an alternative feed source in years where forage supply may be limited. Our rations are balanced to meet NRC requirements and are limit fed. In our study, the control ration is approximately 47% silage, 30% straw, and 22% distillers, whereas the soybean hole ration replaces 27% of the ingredients corn silage, straw, and distillers. Currently, I am looking at how the dam's diet impacts performance through milk production and quality. Part of our collections involve measuring for milk fat, milk protein, milk urea nitrogen, and somatic cell count. Cows fed our control and soybean hole rations have shown no difference in milk quality. We are also determining milk production using the whey suckle whey technique. Through this process, we are looking to see if there are differences in milk production based on the rations we are feeding, which may ultimately impact calf performance. As we are currently performing these collections, I do not have any results to share at this time. From lactation to late gestation, body weights and condition scores of the cows have shown no difference between feed treatments. As I finish my research this fall, I'm excited to see what the results will indicate. My hope is to demonstrate the use of soybean hulls within dry lot beef cow-calf rations will serve as a viable replacement for a portion of roughage. I would like to give a huge thank you to the North Dakota Soybean Council for their contributions in funding my research project out here at the Carrington Research Extension Center. And I would also like to give a huge thank you to our livestock crew for all their hard work within the last two years. Mm -hmm.